we go. Hello. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Greetings and salutations, my friends. How's everyone's week been so far? Fun. It's been good. Yes, it's been good. It's been good. Yes. Well, I think we're going to just dive right in because we got a lot happening with today's session in 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 only good in positive ways i promise you nothing yeah naturally naturally nothing to worry about or anything like that so um so the first thing i want to ask is tremor i feel like the uh the aftermath of last week's meeting which literally just happened you mentioned that you were going to return back to your room to try and do a little bit more studying to kind of research what's been happening with you is that correct yep tremor's goal because he no longer feels the need to sleep mm -hmm. aside from a little bit of a uh, meditative rest is gonna be like what the hell am i what did oh, i do what happened okay all right so uh can you explain a little bit about like some of the the processes that you feel like tremor would maybe experiment or discover what would be happening to him or try kind of like discover sure. what may be happening to him I think the first thing you check is the quality and state of his own soul. Mm -hmm. um, if it's changed at all, uh, see how it responds with phylacteries, specifically the, you know, um, 11 phylactery. Mm -hmm. He would next go through some of the processes he had already been studying for the last year mm -hmm. around resurrecting corpses and with this body of a goblin he's got in his corner uh i think he would try to trace back the steps of resurrection and specifically like raising a dead within its own body okay that is under his control um and then understanding the physical nature of this new form if it is resistant to anything mm -hmm. is it uh you know right can it can it be healed and recovered the same way as before or is it done differently all that fun stuff okay um let's go and start with an arcana check at an advantage please so be sure to shift click arcana in in your D and D Beyond character sheet, and uh, we'll get started. What what was the first thing you wanted to, to learn more about? Um, is it like just the raising of the dead itself, or more of like what is happening to you? More physically? of myself first. Okay, um, we'll start with that then. I have the added efficiency bonus from my familiar, so that's gonna be a plus three on top of this roll. Perfect. Uh, so with a twenty six, uh, you kind of spend the next few hours doing a variety of experimentation with the schools of magic upon your own vessel to try and learn, you know, what exactly has happened because you don't feel the need to sleep. Have you eaten anything since you, you, you've come back? That that's a question that I think I would want to ask first before giving you any more details. Um, not unless you felt the need to definitely you definitely haven't felt the need you haven't felt like a, a a desire for for hunger or anything like that so i don't know if that was you were like maybe i'll try and eat something or but if you're not eating anything I think that would be later on i think first he's checking okay. the immediate like needs and then right uh, would move on to stuff like experimenting on mm -hmm. how hunger works and all that afterwards so you definitely observe with the fact that you are not really so much you you, you know you you You've been back for a while since you've returned from the Necrona Crips. You haven't felt a, a, a hungering pain. Because usually what will happen is I feel like after uh, many hours of experimentation and research, you would have begun to feel like this just hung, you know, this hungering. You, you usually get the like the hunger pings that's like, hey, you need to freaking eat. You're, you're, you're pushing yourself beyond your limits again. Um, you haven't felt that yet. Um, you haven't really felt super drowsy. You understand meditation is what is required to kind of keep you the arcana within you in focus. Um, and yeah, you begin kind of like playing around with the, the various schools of magic that you have access to uh, without taking any slots to figure out exactly how your body responds to it. Uh, so with a 26, I can give you 
precise details of what is happening to you and your body. Um, so the I think I think we'll just rip the mandate off and say that your just just flat out say that Tremor currently is no longer among it is departing from the living, I think is the best way to describe it. Um your body like it in mid transition to exactly so your yeah so tremor's body right now is his heart stopped and seized because your body is now being fueled by ancient necromancy instead of your own bodily organs keeping you you know the, the, the natural flow of life you 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 have begun to detach yourself from that and are now beginning to form your own necromantic energies to keep you alive potentially forever um with this i will uh, uh announce to you and let you know um as i have told other players who have become this uh you have now joined the ranks of the immortal which means that you can you can no longer die naturally your life will continue without end um, unless something intercedes with that. And there, there's a small handful of immortals, mortal players within um, the campaigns of the world, and you have joined the ranks of them. This transition uh, has currently is currently providing you with the following meta effects. Um, all healing magic... That requires you the typical like you know cure light wounds healing word things like that are now half as effective on you uh in addition so you're resistant to healing magic uh but addition in addition to that you have become resistant to necromantic magic as well so you only take half damage from all necromancy sources as your body will continue to transition uh healing magic will become You'll, you'll you'll completely healing magic will become completely in effect unaffected you, you you will no longer be able to be healed however necromancy will be your source of healing at that point so any sort of source of necromantic damage will actually heal your wounds instead of oh instead of damage I can heal you then mm -hmm. <laughs> but as yeah, of the only player in this group <laughs> that can be healed by one another <laughs> <laughs> um but uh yes as of right now yeah you're currently resistant to necromancy but you're also resistant to healing magic as your body is transforming and departing from the the normal means of the living into now this more uh a, a different source of, of 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 life um which is through necromantic magics uh this does alternate existence mm-hmm mm-hmm uh, lie, when that finishes, that's going to be actually really strong with one of my abilities, and I'm excited. For that. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, decaying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, your body. Uh, you you can continue to use your necromancy to essentially keep your body with the appear with a lifeful appearance. As you, if you do decide to continue more on the like like cosmetic we're like i don't want to appear to be dead you know you'll you can yeah. research magics to make sure that you still appear yeah i was gonna mention i have a ritual spell gentle repose which lets me keep a corpse from decaying for 10 mm -hmm. days um so i assume i could just like use that to spritz myself up yes um, so and that's and by bringing and by bringing that up along with the arcana check that you have uh you now have an alterated you now have an alteration version of that um or an altered version of that uh that you can cast so you you cast gentle repose you can cast as a ritual um at the beginning of your day so that it doesn't take up a spell slot and it allows you to preserve your body infinitely as if you if you essentially as part of your meditation part of that would include the ritual casting mm -hmm. of the general repose so that your body will continue to maintain its form if you cool. do so decide to do that for yourself uh you may not you may just embrace death completely and let your body Become begin to wilt skeleton. away exactly <laughs> um but i will also inform you that that you have essentially unlocked the path to lichdom and if you continue on this path you will be able to essentially gain use of your own phylactery uh and 
transform yourself into a lich. This will be some time as you will have to complete your your transition um, and transformation into that. Um, but uh, but yes, you have begun. You are now on the path of thanks, villain. Uh, essentially, becoming a lich, and cool. you'll continue to research that and see what else you can do. Um, as far as the goblin body with the magics that you currently have, boy, uh, this is a lot. But anyways, uh, so essentially, with your arcana check, um, to answer more of your questions, it's a lot being dropped on you, but this is important stuff. Um, you believe you may have made a breakthrough in the power of resurrection essentially with with using the altered phylactery specifically um but you to do to learn more you will need to commune with necrona who which is currently in you uh he would do that if i can resolve that now yeah absolutely um so at this point you begin to like channel necrona from within you um, after coming to these realizations, um, and Necrona will allow the, the communion, essentially. Um, one second, I'm trying to think what, what would happen. So, uh, how do you, how, how do you channel Necrona from within you? Like, what, what, what would you say the ritual would be for you to do that? Like, um, that Tremor would, would, would attempt to do that. I think he would do it mostly in his own head. I don't mm -hmm. think he would speak aloud to anyone he'd try to keep it subtle okay um, um since necrona isn't bound by a phylactery and is actually within your own body almost in in quote unquote possession of um you would be able to you know, without any check uh you call forth necrona and necrona is ready to sort of like talk and speak at this point hey how go your studies I'm coming to terms with my new mm, status. Your maybe you could shed some light on the details. Of course, your vessel is suitable to these necromantic energies. It seems that you've been already attuning your body to the necromantic energies of your kind, of your people. It has made your transformation more acceptable, easier, without pain. Yeah, that. Also, I want to raise this goblin. You already seek to bring back those that have passed on from their mortal lives. One thing you're going to learn about me, if you're going to be sharing this head, is I don't really wait for much. I just try it and go from there. Then we should begin your first lesson. Life itself could not just be created there must always be a source fortunately for you you have just attuned a very powerful soul for this very purpose as life is extinguished from one body their living energy dissipates. It fades, it disappears. You would look at this as a soul. If you have captured or obtained this soul, only a slight amount of energy, of spiritual life, would be required to return them back. If you have their vessel. This expired creature, however, 
seems to have lost their spiritual energy long ago. This being has been deceased for quite some time. We can still create a facsimile of what they were and return them to life. However, it will require more spiritual energy. And I suppose I would want to ensure that you would wish to spend such a precious resource on this individual. Were is they a friend? Upon destruction of the vessel, or is it lost forever? Like, what do you mean by that question? Uh, if I resurrect this thing, is that a precious resource I'm not getting back? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is, is that like a temporary, you know, spell slot equivalent? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Using the spiritual energy you have from this phylactery, it would be expended upon its use. Life is a very fragile thing. So I'd be using all of my battery to bring a goblin back. You would be using a fair portion of it, correct? That doesn't sound worth it. I agree. So what can I do then? I thought well, you said I could return the dead to living. You can. For a price. There is always a price. Well, what would you recommend then? Well... You have a phylactery of raw, unbridled power. Maybe there are other individuals you could gather and tap into their life essence. By controlling the forces of life and death, you will soon gain the ability to decide who will live and who will die. So you're saying to gather the souls of my enemies to further fuel the souls of the living and those that are my allies? Correct. If you are extinguishing life anyways, why not tap into a resource that would dissolve on its own? to absorb their spiritual energy within phylacteries and use that energy to bring back those individuals you wish to not see meet their demise. Understood. I'll meditate on this. Is there anything else I may assist you with? Are there any other mm, features or spells I have access to that I didn't have before? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I shall bestow upon you my necromantic knowledge. So, with this, I can inform you that because you have are now a host of Necrona, uh, you now, now have access to all wizard necromancy spells. Cool. That you can go ahead and write. That's my spell level. That is correct. Yeah. If it is necromancy, you know it now. But essentially, uh, the TLDR of it is if you wish to resurrect someone, they have to, you either have to have their soul or they have to have not been departed for so long because as they are, as they are dead, mm -hmm. essentially, uh, their spirit and soul just kind of begins to 
fade away it dissipates so unless you capture their spirit in either a phylactery or something like that you need to preserve the integrity of the soul if you wish to revive them into someone it, back to life essentially without making them undead or them becoming undead essentially um but to do that there must always be a cost there must always be a price um and the altered phylactery of leaven uh can actually be used as that price um a few times actually because it is literally such a raw unbrighted force but as you use it it does extinguish that energy every time it's used um mm -hmm. this does mean that if you were if you ever found the body of ellie again since you've already kept ellie you have ellie's soul um this could actually be your best means of resurrection for her right and it would be different than bringing back a goblin body that has no soul that is correct to... so so essentially with the god you're going to try and make a facsimile of the soul um because That's he's been a lot harder than if you oh, have yeah. a soul already that you're, yeah you're transporting to a new body i got it and, and more, more but more importantly you even though you're bringing him back to life with a facsimile of, this, of, of a soul, um, the side effect could be that he just is now undead. Like, he's alive, quote-unquote, um, mm -hmm. and he has his memories, and he's not like a, a shuffling zombie, um, but he would definitely not be part of the, the living realm anymore because the, the original soul is essentially kaput. It's gone. You've, made a, you, you've put in a facsimile, essentially. Okay. Um... Does this mean I have access to the animate dead spell now? Uh, let me check. I I believe that does mean you have access to that. But let me go ahead. So I think it, in the past that was considered a no no because of IO's rules. But well, that was raised dead. Ah, right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, animate dead literally just reanimates a like a, a body. Mm -hmm, yeah. Exactly. So raised dead is the is the no no because it's it's literally resurrection. Right, but that's possible now because of I just have to spend a factory resource, basically. Uh, yeah, essentially, you have to spend an outside resource, so it is it is yeah. indeed possible. Um, but it's still not a like, oh, someone died, lol. Let's just get Trevor to resurrect. There's still going to be like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. a ritual involved. I gotcha. But cool. those that's the stuff that you've tapped into. So essentially, you have you now have a source of resurrection um it's still going to have a cost but it's not going to be as heavy of, of a price as it what once was gotcha oh there you are is there anything else that you do during this time um hmm. no i i think he would uh man I think you just do a lot of thinking because this basically gave him a shortcut for a lot of the research he'd been doing. Mm -hmm. um, and now he's achieved kind of what the goal was, but he's got to come to terms with at what cost and, you know. Oh, yeah. It, I, I said, it gonna... as, as someone said it in chat, and it's the best way, it's it's full metal alchemist rules. There's always, there, there has to be an exchange. Sure. Yeah. He's also like full Anakin style, like, I must say better me, but. In exchange, I will lose myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same fucking deal. Okay. Yeah, no, that's I'm I'm good on that. Okay. Oh, I, oh, well, one last thing. I guess he would ask Necrona how the the steps of um progressing uh his like lichdom, you know, mm -hmm. what would be required for that? Um, second. Like uh, I think the voice would respond in your head. Your body is currently undergoing transformation. As of right now, all you currently need is time. As you gain more power, we will transform that into something more suitable for your powers. AKA as you level up, you're going to be um you're going to continue to attune into the lichdom. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. 
he will meditate the rest of the night. Okay. Uh, do you eat food at all or no? Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll try one bite of something. Um, eat a French fry. <laughs> what did you say? You're going to eat a French fry? Yeah. <laughs> I get a French fry. Um, so you taste the remnants of French fry, um, but it also tastes ashy. One more fry? Yes, it's Necrona. <laughs> no more fry. He weeps. He doesn't <laughs> tear because no no water, no moisture to cry. <laughs> you throw you you throw the fries in the corner just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, what is everyone else doing uh, during their downtime? Um, Duckasan, what have, what have you been up to currently? I wanted to look into improving my mage armor spell. Mm. So I that's something I can do here. So for that. Um, what I would say is Gideon would be yes. unoccupied or be, be occupied currently. Um, so to do that, you will actually have to, um, talk with Al who may have a wow. way to do that. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but I would probably knock on his door at some point. Um, hey, Al, would you be in your room or would you actually be like in the library studying? Oh, that's a good question, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I feel like he'd be in the library. It's too yeah. long a distance. He's wasting time to go, you know, back and forth. If we sat there in the library, you'd probably find him. One second. So... Let me get you over there now. All right, World Twenty has been like constantly updating their interface, so all the add-ons that I have are are just continuously breaking. So things are just taking a little longer to to load now. Unfortunately, I apologize for that. Uh, uh. There's duck. And then there's Al, who would be studying. So, let me load that up. Freaking A, where is that? Okay, there it is. And also all my music <clears throat> files seem to have broke, broke Smile, except like a handful of them. So I'm just, just wow. dealing, I'm just dealing with that. I think that happens if like, Roll twenty gets a bit overloaded. Yeah, well, roll twenty's been overloaded for like the past three weeks, so it's just been, it's been. Can you don't hear the music right now. Nope, I can't. Which means, you, and if you can hear it, that means something is going on in my end. So one moment. Yeah, yeah, that's happened to me whilst streaming on roll twenty before. It's, I, it's weird. Well, it happened last week as well. So I have to. One second, checking. Nope. If there's anything running in the background, maybe. Yeah, second now. I think I'll just unmute this, mute this, and hopefully that will work. You can hear, but I can't hear. I've had that before before as the host. That's weird. Oh, God, I fucking hate it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um. All right, hold on. I'm going to actually reload and see if that helps. Apparently, I reloaded the wrong thing. Why am I reloading a tab that I didn't want it reloaded? Um, yes. Brett, would I be able to cast Raise Dead on, or Animate Dead? Sorry, not Raise Dead on the uh, the Goblin Corpse. Absolutely, it's a it's a body, correct? Yes, it wouldn't uh, have any agency, but basically, I would, would just puppet it around for twenty four hours. Uh, yes, you should be able to. Sorry, okay. I'm, I'm trying to get this shit. 
if what we're doing today is what I think we're doing today, I think he would do that. <laughs> okay. He rests. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm sorry, everybody. I everything is breaking, and I don't know what the heck has been going on. I just have to restart my PC eventually. There we go. Gosh. Might be just a weird 420 thing. Because it seems yeah. like that's happened to me while I was hosting. So I wonder. Oh, uh, we're hosting. currently investigating reports dealing with jukebox functionality. Thank you, Roll20. Oh, oh. <laughs> God. Oh. Every fuck you. I don't know, man. I'm getting I'm getting a little annoyed with the Roll20. They, they've been it's been breaking down a lot these past few uh weeks now and i'm just like okay but it's good i can hear uh things i could think hear everything now so we'll we shall make do we might just have a it might just be a little clumsier bumpier today okay so uh Dekazon, uh you would be looking around for means for essentially you want to improve your mage armor uh what's like Dukazon's like logic or or like reasoning like what's going on in Dukazon's mind with that well i've seen the others cast it in mm -hmm. battle and i haven't been using it because mine looks different and theirs seem to be more elegant more powerful more, there was it, the shield looked thicker than I've seen, and I'm curious how they do that. Also, uh, you notice that all of their mage armors have different styles, so they look like different suits of armor that more th are more themed around around them. So that is also could be a, another observation uh, that you've made. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's fair to say you probably would have ended up somewhere in the library to try and like research more about how that is is that something that Dukasan would be proud to be like wouldn't have like the pride to be like yeah i uh i want to learn more because my mage armor isn't up to snuff or is that something that you think Dukasan would be keeping to herself no they wouldn't mind admitting that it's different and seems better than what i have okay um, so you would arrive within the library. Um, Al, what would you be doing during this time? I think in front of him, you'd see him kind of sat there um, with probably as many books as he could have, like just kind of sprawled out in front of him, like just 30 of them, kind of writing down. And I think he's going to just be power learning spells. Just learning as, as many as spells he as he can. Just using his like awakened spell book to try and kind of conjure a spell to kind of write and jot them all down. As okay. Much as possible. Um, I'm gonna have some rolls and then do meta for you. Uh, but uh, you may continue. Uh, Al, you would yeah. actually see. Uh, yeah, Dekasan, you would come in, uh, and you both would see each other. So feel free to. Oh, hello there. Please have a seat if you wish. I came here to do research, but if you're here anyway, you could possibly assist, at least pointing me in the right direction. Of course, yes. Yeah. I've seen... learned the entirety of the library's collection now. The entire collection? I think so. I'm trying to... But actually, between us, I've been rearranging some things because they weren't logical positions. All right. Well, I've seen you and your companions cast a mage armor that seems different than mine. Oh, yes. Perhaps more powerful, and I was wondering if you could point me in the right direction of how you learned that. Oh, it's rather simple, really. Actually, it's complex. But what we did was... Uh, he kind of starts going through his pages. Ow! Oh. One moment. He rushes off to go and find the Mage Armor book. <laughs> Finds it. <laughs> Who organizes these alphabetically? Should be organized by the School of Magic. <laughs> he just sits back down again and kind of looks through. And he gets to kind of section. Yeah, see, we just changed up the algorithm here. And we started to study it rather differently. And then he's going to attempt to show her how they learned it. All right. So, it is a uh, something I just told Joe. 
Um, but essentially, because of Al's school of magic as a scribe, um, he can teach other wizards uh, the improved versions of spells that they gained um, while they're at their time during the Arcane Academy. Teacher wizard. <laughs> oh, that's cool, dude. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so, um, oh, yeah, in case you didn't see the message. So if you spend two hours with a wizard, you can essentially teach them the improved version of the spells that you have learned. Awesome. Busted. We had to roll for that. <laughs> as a, I yep, as a scribe, you can like, do that, yeah. Yeah, scribes are so cool for learning. <laughs> uh, you'd see as he kind of gets his awakened spell book and almost like has jotted in some of the notes already. And it does like, it's almost like a whiteboard, but like projected above it. And it almost just kind of breaks down the spells and helps learn them. And it's kind of how he's been speeding everything up. Um, and yeah, he would spend a couple hours teaching her how to create her own mage armor in uh, the speciality form. So, yeah. Duckasan, you have now learned the improved version of mage armor, uh, which gives you an additional plus one to your AC. In addition to that, you can now flavor your mage armor to make it appear more in the style that you wish. All right. Nice. Um, Dekasan, what would your mage armor look like if you were to cast the improved version of it? Um, it'd definitely be some sort of... I mean, well, this... Uh, I really... I don't think I'm just being um, influenced by what's right in front of me, but very similar to... Um, Astral Academy's branding in general. <laughs> the, the deep purple stars swirly. Um, and just uh, when things bounce off of it, it's something of a um, w waver or a wiggle in the air around her that forces things to bounce back. Um, or a little bit of a drawing into a tiny gravity well that reverses and spits it back out. Okay. I like it. Very I cool. like it. So yeah, that is what uh, Al is able to do. Um, if Al ever manages to return back to the Arcane Academy and you guys want to continue learning improved version of spells, um, uh, with time, Al can essentially... A essentially what it is is al you get an advantage on those learn checks to try and get the improved version of those spells awesome and then you can literally just give it you can spend two hours with a wizard and then teach them that without any check involved that's really cool and you said i can also like super speed learn basic spells without oh yeah basic right? spells yeah it's, you're, you're spending like two minutes to do that so um <laughs> you is this your first time that you've had a chance to like study uh everything here or yeah i don't think he's been able to sit down since he got to the astro academy okay um, and all lights go so he's just uh he wants to put his new book to good use all right so let's say it's been like three hours that you've had of downtime correct okay uh so you can go ahead and write 90 spells uh in your book <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you got to get up and still get everything. So that's hold true, on. That's true. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll this. <laughs> you probably stubbed your toe a couple of times. Ow! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was going too fast. Going to slow me down. <laughs> uh, so you can, you can learn 73 new spells. Oh, that's it. I, love okay. that. I love that that's the nerf. That's amazing. Okay. I love scribes, dude. <laughs> Ow. I'll have a look at that after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I imagine when you go to him, his hair's like a little bit out of place. His eyes are wide just because he's taking in so much information. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay. I'd uh, also like to find something that is small and about five pounds that I could just carry around with me, whether it is a rock or some sort of metal weight. <laughs> so, if you wish, 
<laughs> oh, there's a sorry. You, there's a couple of things you could just you could literally just grab this a, like a small metal candle op, candelabra from the uh, from the library and use that if that's what you'd like to do. If that if it doesn't look too fragile. Oh no, I mean like it's metal, so like it would literally right. just like it would it would dent up if, if you're doing what I think you're doing. Um I'm sure. But yeah, it, that would be easy enough to like strap on to the to my bag or something or my yeah, belt. Yeah, it's like it's just a little tiny thing, and as it as it makes impacts, it'll literally begin to like break down and mold itself into like this dented right. up metal ball. <laughs> so that you just you're just gonna continuously have. Um Great. Mm. Yeah, okay, all right. You know what? For you, that's actually a good idea. Uh, can I go ahead and get an Arcana check, check from Duckison in, uh, and go ahead and give me an advantage on that? Hmm, it did not send over to roll 20. What am I doing wrong? You, you might, it might just be roll 20 hiccuping. I saw the roll in D &D saw it in D&D Beyond. Well. Beyond. I can say what it was. Oh, there it is, 20. That oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll also load up D&D Beyond so I can see the rolls. Oh, I never knew that D&D Beyond had a roll. Yeah, did I. As long as you're in the campaign, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll also load up so that way I can see the rolls in case uh, roll 20 is hiccuping. So, uh, with a 28, uh, if you would like, do you, so you've come to, hold on, just loading things in and perfect. Okay. So duck is on as you're beginning to like, have like, oh man, let me go ahead and figure out if there's like a, a five pound object somewhere that I can use. And, you know, you're looking around, um, potentially thinking of options like, like rocks and things like that. Um, again, you would come to like a, a metal candelabra and using your arcana check, um, and the power of your gravity magic, um, you would begin to have the ability to essentially shift down the material, like squish it down into what appears to be um, a metallic orb of your design. And you could even use elegance and things like that to actually like trim it down to what it's shaped. And um, yeah, using your gravity magic, you would just throw it up in the air and now it begins to hover around you. So, yes. what I am essentially so cool. bestowing upon you is a, you can call it whatever you wish. Um, I would just call, I'm just gonna call it a gravity orb. And what this allows you to do, assuming you were, you're, you're, I'm assuming you're using <laughs> this for the catapult spell, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so what this allows you to do is to, you can use the catapult spell to do that. Um, you could also, as a bonus action, send the orb like 60 feet in any direction that you want from you, as long as it stays within the 60 feet from you. And uh, you can then use the catapult spell to propel it at that point. And then at the end of combat with your gravity magic, you're able to recall it back to you, essentially. And it's just this little five pound orb that just hovers around you that you can yes. use as an altered like gravity. But yeah, so, but you do have the extra additional option as, as a bonus action, you can move the orb anywhere within 60 feet of you. It just has to be within the range of catapult, essentially. Right, but that would be as not a spell and just would move it and not attack something? That is correct. Or that is also as casting catapult. So, no, no. So the bonus action allows, so if you want to like project the orb somewhere, so if you're like, all right, I'm going to spend a bonus action to move the orb 50 feet this way and then spend the spell to catapult it from there. Okay. But you okay. can, you will still have the ability to like catapult it from where you're at. It would just, then the catapult spell would be focused on, in, on you essentially as that. Mm -hmm. um, cool. You're, okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So. It seems the connection to the server yeah. has been interrupted, yeah. Smile. Um, Thank God we have the roles over on D&D Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's all good. Uh, but yeah, so, but um, yeah, it's just a little like catapult added thing that you can do because of your, your gravity magic. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm waiting to see if this is going to 
continue or not. I'm going to go to the status site and see what's going on. Hmm, 502 Bat Gateway. Cool, 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 cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, when, when, the, uh, when the status site is down, that's when you know things are... Things are really fucking up. Um, if you guys would like, let's go ahead and take a couple minutes. See if it'll come back up. If you guys want to go to the bathroom, get some water, and uh, we'll we'll continue at that point. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna mute while I'm doing that. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Woo! All right, everyone. Uh, let's go ahead and take a couple minutes and see if. Roll 20 comes back up, yeah? All right. Uh, be right back, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. I think we are Hello. back. Yeah, I think I think roll twenty is yeah, roll twenty is back to normal. 
We uh, we were wondering, Brett. Yes. Your deafened, um, what we did with the eggs of that disruptive species and great can question we leave them with a uh, you know a rookery of some kind in the academy to raise them <laughs> while we're out of the tree <laughs> i love the idea of just like you return back and it's the school's just completely <laughs> gone at that point <laughs> <laughs> um, leave them with like an illusionist so they can look like us while they're raising it yeah 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 no absolutely you can go ahead and leave with the rookery uh how many you have three eggs correct yes okay let me go ahead and and take a look at there boop, 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 boop. Oh, God. all right uh yeah so essentially what you would do is leave it with uh someone who handles uh, you would leave it with a a teacher of conjuration uh, who wish to learn more about creatures that they can like conjure up as well. Uh, but they felt they needed to go ahead and take care of like actual pets before they jump into like conjured things, so that they would be a better uh, summoner, yeah, this essentially. Is a good stepping stone. Yeah. So yeah, um... we would uh, we'd make it very clear <laughs> under no circumstances. <laughs> Should these things be allowed to leave the academy? <laughs> Kill them if they try to leave. If there's no other options. Oh my god. So you you would kind of see into that, please raise them well. <laughs> <laughs> um hold on, I have to like actually pull up an image so I can see what exactly I'm looking at. Um imagine they're like the eggs from Alien, like with yeah, the yeah, flaps yeah. that open. Oh, I love this. Um, so you would talk to what I could only describe as like a, a, this sort of like salamander race where it's a, it looks like a, like a lizard men, like a lizard folk, uh, mm -hmm. but they have like the tail of like a lamia or a snake. So they would just kind of slither over to you. And, but this one's like, it, it very like corpulent, like, so it's a larger fellow and you would give the eggs and it's, their eyes would open up and he would go, Oh, what is theirs? <laughs> um these are hatchlings we found on an, an expedition but they grow into something not very um desirable we were hoping to raise them under our control and domesticate them but they should be handled with extreme caution <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. Uh, any sort of environments I need to know about warmth, and cold, why? Well, how do you them raise in a them? Dank cave filled with the corpses of an ancient race. Mm -hmm. Would you happen to have any of those corpses around so I can simulate their environment? Mm, not in a form that I'm willing to give up. Huh? <laughs> I'll do the best that I can then. Um. What was the temperature like in this cave? Uh, Do they like sure. warm things like fire? I don't believe so. They were under the earth, so... Mm. Damp. All right, I could go ahead and simulate that. That actually was a lot like my environment when I was growing up. I actually came from an egg too, so I could go ahead and oh, and, and you see, it's just looking as like the egg that you're holding. It's it's kind of like translucent a little bit, and you see like the uh, the slug like creature like move around a little bit, and it's just looking. He's just staring at it, his eyes just wide open. Oh, oh these might actually mm, hatch soon. Oh, what's their gestation period? How long have they been like this? Hundreds of years. Okay, uh, well then, maybe not as soon as your terms are. Mm. Okay, yeah, I could go ahead and look it, and if it what hatches, I'll let you know. Uh, any names that you'd like to give them? I look to... to Honey. Um... Tremor. Oh. <laughs> oh. Very well, I shall name the first one Tremor. <laughs> By the way, I, I didn't catch your names. What is your name? I'm glaring at him. <laughs> I am Zahani. A pleasure to meet you, Zahani. And this you? Is teacher. Oh, nice to meet you, teacher. What an interesting name. You come from a uh, society where you are named after your profession. Very interesting. 
I'm glaring at everyone. My eyes <laughs> suck right, and they glare both people. <laughs> don't worry about a name, okay? Just make sure they don't escape. Of course! I'll take good care of them. Oh, uh, do you know what their diet is? Or what primarily Corpses. they need to eat? Oh, um... I think I'm fresh out of those. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything like that. Uh, anything just else? some bones. That would do corpses it. Corpses just meat, yes? Yeah, well, uh, neck, you know, uh, a meat that has gone through some kind of necrosis. Oh, okay. I've got an idea. Um, <laughs> and he'll just... Fuck. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you'll see this salamander-like race. He'll hold out his hands, and he begins summoning a spell, and he is a, it's a raw arcane energies just begin to form around his hands as he essentially conjures and calls forth uh, what appears to be this, like, purple-spotted, uh, what I can only describe as, like, a cockatrice, like a chicken. Uh, that is probably about half the size of like what a goblin would be and that thing just comes out and it has uh, four it has uh, two sets of eyes uh, one on top of each other as he's just like as it, the creature begins looking around with the snake like tail um, and at that point you see the salamander hold out its hand as a giant like obsidian mallet forms in and he just slams on the creature as hard as it can. You hear the snapping of this creature's neck as the body just falls limp. He holds out his other hand and begins casting necromancy magic using necrotic energy as you begin to see the body wilts away. And he goes, so you're telling me this thing feeds on rotten meat, huh? I think it would eat anything, but yeah, no, that's a creative solution. No, okay. Well, this this will be ready for it, and I'll preserve it if it does seem to hatch anytime soon. But yeah, I think we could go ahead and make this work. Perfect. Thanks for your uh, your help. What's your name? Oh yeah, uh, you can go ahead. I am Hreda Mori. You can call me Hreda though. It's a pleasure I'm to not meet you. That. Well, I don't know. Write it down or something. Jeez, don't be rude about it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a rude little boy. <laughs> I'm no longer a boy, Joe. I'm a corpse. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Uh, boy. I'll go ahead and take care of this. Oh, uh, yeah, you've got nothing to worry about. Uh, you could call me, and so you're Zahani and your teacher, and I shall name the first hatchling Tremor. What a fascinating so name. What a fascinating name. <laughs> Tremor leaves. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance. And then you would go back inside. <laughs> He's okay. becoming more Anakin by the day, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um fortunately, all right. And now I have a Hereda Mori NPC that I just made. Uh so I like him. Yeah, it's breaking legs and trimmer doesn't. Yeah, there it is. That's Hereda. That'll be Hereda over there. Is this guy? That's next to uh, Duck is on currently. Um, oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have a yeah salamander like 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 a snake like body. Um, but uh, okay. So you have the eggs taken care of. Um, other things. Uh, Dukazan, you've learned improved version of mage armor as well as gained a, a small gravity orb for catapult spells. Uh, Al, you now ha you've gained you've learned a lot of spells and know how to impart <laughs> uh, improved versions of it. Tremor, you've gained uh, quite a bit of necromancy. Um, Gideon, yes. Is there anything that you're focused on? Or are you just have you been doing like just the same studies? Um. I think that Gideon would have uh, really tried to find some sort of time magic throughout the academy. Like, like, that be, like just mm. some sort of a book, uh, some sort of like anything, basically, because when Levin had said, like, oh, there's there's some place that you can go. 
Uh, it just feels like Levin's been keeping a lot of, like, he kept a lot of things hidden. Mm -hmm. so maybe he, even though he he made it sound like there was only something off of the ground to the academy. Mm -hmm. uh, You're currently true looking. loss of get Levin now. I'm just searching. Yeah. That shit. Um, so... Let me go ahead and get your map ready to go. Also make sure that's... Oh, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, one moment, please. So, what, essentially what you would do, Gideon, is why, you know, you'd probably be looking around the library, you turn to your room, you do a lot of focus, just try to figure out exactly what, it, for, it's some evidence of time. You're still seeking to improve your time magic, correct? Um, I don't know if improve is the right word, but... Well, what would, looking for, what would he's be looking, he's looking on. for answers okay he yeah he, he feels like he's oh also shady you're a, a little low if you're able to turn it up i have you on max volume yeah i can probably do that is that better uh yeah it's a little better okay I can go yeah you're good I mean, perfect go perfect cool. yeah you're good anyways continue with what you're saying sorry oh uh, he just feels like he um kind of got the short end with thinking he was going to see levin again mm-hmm and uh, now believes that he is not. Gotcha. So he's been, he's kind of dealing with his own personal mm -hmm. hell, I would say. Um, yeah. So what would you say is Kid Gideon's objective when it comes to, because you said you're trying to like learn time. Like, are, is Gideon, what is, what, what, what is Gideon's goal at this point? Would you say that you are trying to like research and do? I think the most important, <laughs> Oh, the most important thing for Gideon is making time stop now, not so much rewinding, if that helps at all. Okay. Um, do you mind if I ask why Gideon is seeking to stop time? Um, I think it's sort of a coping mechanism Just for not, a, like, not wanting to do what's next. Yeah, like feeling like every time he has thought there was going to be a positive turn in the page it feels like just turning the page is the wrong move um okay so with that um i got a couple of questions for you uh do you have the spell detect magic i think i don't have it prepared but you you are uh, you have the knowledge of it spell magic no maybe i don't uh no i don't have it no okay all right um, so, uh, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. This will be at a higher DC because you do not have the, the, the spell Detect Magic. Okay. Um, I would say as you continue to wander around the school, um, even go to the library, uh, things like that, um, go into your rooms, try and figure out what's been happening, um, with your current, oh, are you using a familiar bond? Yes, I would be using. Okay, bottles. all right. That that actually changes because that's another additional plus three Gideon twenty one. Um, so you would discover a couple of evidence of 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 chronomancy and chronomagic that's been that that's actually kind of been lingering around the university, and it may have been the ripple effect between you and Levin's bond uh, to improve out the time magic. You first, you would know that. You should probably that detect magic will probably assist you in in this task um but you're funny enough beginning to find pockets and remnants of of, of time magic that's been just essentially lingering around the campus um and they literally just feel like you can like like tangible things that you can kind of like touch and manipulate you're uncertain at this time that what you can do with these pockets. Um, but chronomancy is definitely like lingering around the school. Uh, detect magic will assist you in finding these pockets to help you tap into and, and, and learn more of what that could potentially be. If you would, if okay, you if, just if, decide to go in that, that path. Yeah. If, if Gideon got that sense that he's, you know, wandering the halls and feeling the energy from these pockets, he probably would just try to go find a book in the library. Okay. Uh, feel very remnant of being at the Exodus Academy. Okay. 
um, detect magic is a very common wizard spell, so you would easily find that and spend your time learning the spell detect magic. Cool. And those are that is uh, at this time all you're able to currently do. Okay. Um, but you are aware that there is, yeah, there's like, there's literally like chr chronomancy all around the school now, little pockets of it, and what that actually means you're uncertain of at this time. Um, okay. During your time in studying also Chrono Magic and also with the Arcana check that you have just given me, um, you know that the the state of flux of Chronomancy in the Veil in itself is continuing to align itself more with Io. And now instead of every eight days in Io is, or sorry, every eight days in the Astral is one day in Io. It is now shift down to every six days in the Astral is one day in Io. So now wow. effectively half the time in the Astral Veil is being shrunk down. Well, poop. Yes. So with that, um, Zahani, what, what, what have you been doing during your time? I've spent this entire time with Tremor. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even been to my room yet. <laughs> Honey, don't you think you should, you know, sleep? I mean, I've been sleeping in your room a little bit, but I don't know what I should be doing. What do you mean? I mean, people are learning things. I don't exactly know how. Zahani like still looks like shit, by the way. <laughs> like yeah. He still looks beaten up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there are two things we can do about that. One, I can teach you some of what I know. Or I can try. Which I guess makes sense if I am good to be your teacher. I should have probably done that teach, earlier, yes. huh? <laughs> he starts thinking, wait a minute. <laughs> Have I been neglecting my student? <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming more adequate by the day. <laughs> I'm no better than Levin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And second, uh, you need to take a nap. You look awful. Worse than me. I think I should do. Should I learn first or nap first? Um, How much time we got left until the next day, Brett? Um, I, I mean, you've been busy throughout this entire day. I would say it is probably the quote unquote evening hours. Uh, so you probably have a, you have a, a couple of hours remaining. What were, are you interested in teaching Zahani something? I wanted to teach him improved mage armor, kind of like Joe had done. Mm -hmm. If I can't do that, then I would take him to Al to help. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so that's specifically is for um, Al since he is a scribe. Uh, okay. He can bestow knowledge a lot easier than you can, especially when it comes to the improved version of it. Um, but if you wish to take him to Al, um, that is something that you can do. Okay. He'll say, my first lesson as your <laughs> teacher is to defer to those that know more than you. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> my first lesson to you is to delegate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we go find L. Okay. Um, give me one moment. I saw the library, and then the library wasn't there. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So I would say. Oh, actually, got you right there, bud. I know. I appreciate you putting that there. Um, this is yeah. This would be just the aftermath of Duck is on you. You creating the gravity orb and Al. You learning reading all the books. You're you're at like the end of of of, of it right now, where you just got to the seventy two books. Um, you've just bestowed I, uh, the knowledge. The two hours you spent, you've just bestowed the knowledge of improved mage armor as well. And you would see, uh, yeah, you'd see Tremor and Zahani walk in. As you guys are walking up, he's using uh, press the digitate to kind of like get a cloth and just keep chilling it and put it against his hand just it's gonna get like a little swollen from the amount of work he's been doing your hands <laughs> are covered in paper cuts oh <laughs> fuck that Ow. aldoris yes 
would you be willing to teach this one, Zahani, how to make improved mage armor? Hello, sir. What? What are you doing? You should have come two hours ago. I just did this lesson, but running well. You're late. I'll go against your record. I did not know I had a record. You do now. I will. So. <laughs> Trevor just drama. goes do back you know to his basics? room. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's two hours and, uh, and teach him it. All right. Uh, Zahani, at this point, you have learned improved mage armor. Uh, you are able to uh, create mage armor with an additional plus one armor class. Oh. And you are able to um, make it appear uh, in energy form, of course, uh, anything that you wish. Uh, what would Zahani's <laughs> armor look like? Oh my god. It's gonna be identical to Tremors. Frills <laughs> yeah. oh, no. yes. oh. and all. God damn it. What does Tremors look like? It's very like gaudy, over the top, like fancy, like noble wear. Very I, pretentious. I, I think the way Trevor explained it before is that it looks fancier than Al's. <laughs> like, I think was what it was, what it was <laughs> right? Yeah, it was like I just tried to one-up whoever had made their own first, <laughs> and that was the only goal. <laughs> um, I'm the strongest teacher now. So around teachers not been there for two hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> teacher teacher's been absolutely well absent. Um, all right. So with that and everything that you've learned within your day, uh, you all are free to give yourself a full rest as you have completed a full rest. Bizarre. Very nice. Very nice. And the next morning. Unless you all are doing anything else, uh, you would return to the inevitable. Is that correct? Yep. I think so. All right. So, um, hold on one second. I want to see if I can do something right now. Bonk. Uh... Okay. Okay. Oh, it does. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing something real quick. I apologize for the. Oh, perfect. Okay. I fixed Styles token. So that I. Yep. There you go. So his his hit points are now shown now. All right. So with that, you would all return. Perfect. To the inevitable station at the end. Uh, and as you are approaching the inevitable, you will see that it is still looking at the image that it showed you all the last time you were here. As if it's been analyzing everything. Um, you all may approach at any time or role, role play as you see fit. But yeah, the inevitable's head is kind of like whirling around. And the illusion itself just seems to be of this area. You can kind of like just see the the stars of of, of, of like just raw space at this point and uh yeah it's just it's currently analyzing any updates any halting updates? halting the research duck is on there currently has been no updates as to this location that i've been at this place feels so foreign and yet so familiar here. Wait, you have a concept of boredom. Boredom? Did you say it was so boring yet familiar? No, no, foreign. I apologize. Oh, so foreign. Oh. So boring. <laughs> 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 yeah, I it was wild. 
This place is boring. <laughs> so bored. Um, no, so he's just, <laughs> yeah, but no, he, uh, he's looking around and, but yeah, no, he said, um, this place look is, it feels foreign, but so familiar is, is the line. Yeah. I'm theorizing of ways that I can discover more information about this location. But it is of your pride plane. It is of the plane of Io. Which the only conclusion I can come to is that I have originated from this plane. And I am foreign to the Astral Veil. However, my objective still stands. I must assist in the defeat of Cosmocara, as well as defend the Astral Academy. And to that, I have formulated new strategies and plans to assist in this. You will assist as well. I have taken into account your recommendation to pursue the goblins that have returned after their attack. I am currently analyzing their location of where they have been teleported to. I theorize they have returned to a planet that you visited, described as a dead god planet, the body of Cosma. It is here that I believe the goblins have housed themselves. I am currently formulating a plan that may provide and be beneficial that will both assist in the defeat of Cosmicara and allow you to pursue them. That sounds ideal. This plan will take some time. The information that you gave me of the soul of the Cosmic Claw, I've been analyzing this Cosma power and this Cosma data. And the conclusion I have come to is I need more. This more will what? more of the raw energy of Cosma, meaning that you will need to go to the location and find some sort of source of Cosma. This location where the goblins have retreated. I will need more samples. This will allow me to further analyze how to defeat Cosmocara. But for that, we will need more data, more analysis, and a safe way to get there. With that, I have formulated a plan. The goblins have been tapped with a foreign energy known as magic. I currently do not have a source of this. I believe, however, I would be able to teleport you to where they originated from. Hmm. Where the goblins right. came from? This is correct. Is like a den, a nest, what do they call them? I believe they called it a school. school. The Bard cool. College. Like this? The Bard College, that is correct. Unlike oh, yeah. this, however. That reminds me. And then Trimmer will command uh, the reanimated corpse of uh, Handsome <laughs> to enter the room with him. Oh no, what's that? <laughs> Uh, you will see what I can only describe as, and I really would like to actually, like, change this up. A mummify, like, a, a pale version of Handsome wanders in. Uh, would you like to go ahead and give a description of what he would look like? Because he definitely would be more zombified. Yeah, he, I mean, he's been decaying since he was killed. I don't know how long it's been. Mm -hmm. Trimmer's done, like, basic work to keep it from getting too grody, but he's definitely not looking as good as he used to um 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's his first time reanimating a corpse this in this way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like perfect and it, its head's probably kind of lolling over to the side. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, you know, the only wounds on it, I think, are when it was stabbed, right? It's like stabbed in the back a bunch. Yeah, it was like he was unconscious and then stabbed through uh, by model. Uh, yeah, that is correct. Yeah, so um okay yeah so this 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 uh creature would yeah he would just wander in at that point in time all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah what what uh what what kind of response was tremor like it expecting for what he what he brought what he brought in the corpse of handsome i think he's just testing the waters to see what people's reactions are uh he's got a defense for it in case people challenge him but you know, he doesn't feel like he needs to defend himself. Right. Uh, yeah, what does everyone say? Come on, explaining this. Well, if the goblins came from this school, and this goblin was from that school, I figure it'd be a useful, um... bargaining chip, or... maybe... what's the word? Psychological warfare. To use their own leader. Oh. Do you disagree? Do you have full control over it? Of course. Look, I'm gonna tell it to do jumping jacks. Uh it does a it does one jumping jack before you hear the snapping of bones from its deteriorated <laughs> leg. Shit. He's gonna go and try to prepare the leg. <laughs> Can it speak? Um let's see. I'm gonna command it to talk. Not much. Not much. <laughs> okay. Look, we know goblins are cowardly. We show up with one of these. I bet we can, um, you know, cut to the meat of it pretty quick. Plus, I can make more. How many more? Uh, first time I made one. Oh my god. Is it spirit still in that body? No. There's no soul. It's purely a meat puppet. Oh. There's not much wrong with that, I suppose, if it's just an empty shell. Yeah. Look, the way I see it, if it's between one of us getting cut open and this thing, I'd rather it's this thing. Certainly. Um, does it count? So, what have you created? Like, like as as far as stats, spell if you want, it's uh, it like a like a zombie, or is it like it's yeah, it, it's a zombie. Okay, cool, awesome. I can either animate bones as a skeleton or a corpse as a zombie. Uh, let me do something real quick. I actually uh. I can give you a handsome token right now. That this is what it looks like. Cool. A big spell. So, not to brag, but I have made a, a I have I have oh. just I have just made a handsome zombie for you. <laughs> like the graphic and everything. Fantastic. And yeah, it's um it's not Concentration and it lasts for 24 hours. Perfect. And I Me just need to cast it again within 24 hours to keep control of it. Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and. All right. It's been it's been made. Let me go ahead and get this bad boy out so you can all see. Uh, this creature's named now formerly handsome, and there he is. Oh, it's amazing, bro. <laughs> Oh, I actually love him. I literally, I just That's made so like good. literally just a minute. <laughs> I was just like, here yeah, we go. I know Boom. how fast you are Photoshop. That's good. <laughs> so there you go. Um, yep. It's so you've got the you've got him. Uh, he's in your journal now, so you can pull him out whenever you want. And uh, I will also formerly handsome. I love it. Do. You... 
All right, there he is. Okay. So yeah, he just wanders over. He does that. His you you mend the you mend the uh, the legs back up, and uh, yeah, and um, I think the inevitable will just simply respond. Any boon to your powers will assist against the fight of Cosmocara. Of course. Agreed. The plan is to teleport you to a location known as the Ishtar Peninsula. It is south of where your Arcane Academy, of Exodus Academy, was located. How far south? It is the southernmost part of the consciousness. It is said to be what one would describe infested with goblins. It is an area filled pure with goblins. One where humans and elves are not known to be seen. You may not be either well-liked or recognized. You may receive a hostile reception. Nothing we're not used to. What are we looking for specifically? You need to analyze the area and find a source of day magic. Return a sample to me and I will be able to bestow upon you the power of magic after further analysis. You remember what that looks like, Al Gideon? Gideon just nods. Yes. So you all know how to recognize it. Yeah, red, cloudy, warped. It is theorized that day magic is the blood of the fallen god. Yeah, yeah. Using this could be a valuable asset and an offensive weapon against Cosmicara, but more importantly, may allow us to return back to the planet of Cosma so that we would be able to gather Cosma samples. How do we extract it? The best way to extract it would be to find a sample of something that would have plenty of day magic. Are you aware of the spell Detect Magic? Sure. Quite. Using this, you may be able to search for sources of hey, hey, magic. Find a sample that is sufficient enough that is maximized with its day potential. The better the sample, the more likely we will be able to discern and extract the day from and use it as a weapon against Cosmocara. Very well. Do any of you have detect magic prepared? Yes, I have it. Good. Very well. I can teleport you now. And how will you bring us back? I've been researching the means of the ways that the goblins have returned here to the academy and then come back. Instead of creating a focused area of a teleportation circle, I will use a sort of magic ones that the goblins use to return back to their planet of Cosma. I will give you an allotted time of two hours. After the two hours, you will return on your own. Is that two hours IO time or astral time? Processing. <laughs> God damn it. Hold on. Uh, okay. I will give you 12 hours of astral time. 
This will allow you two hours on the on the planet of Io. Works for me. And if we're done before two hours, how do we get you to bring us back immediately? I would find a safe space and hide for the two hours. All right. Wonderful. I would not want further goblin intrusion into this sanctum. Yes, I think we've learned a lesson. Very well. Gather around, and I shall transport you now. All right. So... Good news, good news, good news. I am now going to invite you to the Goblins of Io campaign. Oh! What? So should we? Well, I think I'm already it? on that. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're, if you're already on it, then simply log into it. Uh, otherwise, if you are not on it, select that link, and you will be invited into it. I propose before we teleport away, we have like a transformation moment where we all put on mage armor. We're all like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yep, for sure. mage yeah. armor. <laughs> <laughs> and Trevor will look and see Don has the same one as him and frown before he's done. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. One of us it. is gonna have to change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me one second. Close that. Why is my roll 20 health not synced with my D&D &D Beyond Health? Uh, what level were these uh, goblins uh, at the time that they left? Three? Four? Oh, boy. <laughs> Wait, I'm missing health. Did I have five temp HP or something? Uh, it should be linked to your... If you go back to the goblins, yeah, it'll well, be linked to you. Before I long rested... I used the D&D Beyond Long Rest button, and I had Correct. 53 max health, now I have 48. Did you remember to level up? Because we were... Yeah, I'm level 8, but okay. I was 48 health and I was level 7. Yeah, you might yeah, have, you the might have not... D&D Beyond something else? I mean, D&D Beyond says 48. I should have 53. All, all, all you have to do is go down. into your rolled HP uh, when you're managing HP on your character sheet, um, and then just type plus 5, type the 53, and you should be good. Oh, or type whatever the plus 5 is in rolled uh, HP. Oh, he's dead. No. <laughs> he's dead. Ah, it's been quite some time since we returned to the jungles of Ishtar. Very excited yeah, about control this. of our tokens again, I think. Um Oh yeah, that's because I haven't uh you haven't you didn't join. So I, I didn't I oh, wasn't I, able to give you that. I'll click the link. No, no, I mean, when I made the tokens, you weren't there. Yeah. So now I will, now that everyone's here. Boop. And then I will do a boop. And then for Gideon, so see if you can move. You should be able to now. Yep. Thank you. I have you. my zombie too. Yes, you could have your zombie. Let me just go ahead and make sure Gideon has control. This this is starting to feel more and more like Anakin killing the uh fucking <laughs> Sand Raiders in Star Wars. <laughs> Get you back in the Ishtar vibes, and then Ooh, for good vibes. Oh. Well, this was once a bar nice. college. Was once. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know. We came in when they when they were messing up. <laughs> well, the st well, all of the st the majority of the staff that could operate the college were extinguished. <laughs> Epic. All right, and then. Boop. Boop.
whole concept of like trying to like get to the goblins by defeating you know the stuff they care about is so funny because they have they don't care about anything <laughs> there's no like leverage we can have like we took your bard college hostage it's like no we pretty much already blew that place up before we went to your place <laughs> we have your family good i hate them yeah. uh and boom all right, there is your. <laughs> All right, uh, so you teleport, and then at this point, I'm also gonna just be like, <sighs> you return into what appears to be a empty room. Uh, you immediately feel just the humidity of the jungles of Ishtar. Um, as you arrive over to this location. And you begin to hear a little bit of a tussle from outside. Like, you hear kind of like this, like, like, roll, like, low, sort of like talking to each other. Um, as you hear just one person just kind of like saying like, like, because the, uh, since the door is closed over to the south. You are free to do uh, as you wish. What would you like to do? What's the it's plan warm. Again? Well, we weren't given any more information, were we, on where to go here? How long does detect magic last? So, what you're able to do is uh, once you've casted detect magic, uh, you're able to make um, essentially arcana checks. Uh, to see how much day a source has. Um, at that point, I will give you a number. You will not know what the cap of that number is. Mm. But, so you will need to figure out if that number is an adequate number for you or if it's not. It's a gamble. Mm -hmm. uh, but essentially, you need to find a sample of day. Um, oh, kind. You think we need to go inside? Maybe it is in the boxes. Sure, we're also going to attune. Uh, I believe those boxes were searched. Familiar bond to the plus one damage thing. Okay. Did I? Yeah. I search boxes. Uh, they appear to be uh empty except with a bunch of uh, broken instruments within the boxes. Oh yes, I remember now. It is not in here. I may have broken these. Oh, yeah, you literally went there before. This was the same place you were at. Yeah. Brett, would we still be able to see the day magic without using detect magic, or is it invisible until that spell is used? Um. So with the detect magic, is if someone has day within them. If you see like raw day out out, then that's also uh, if you had some way to like get that sample. Um, that would also potentially prove insightful. Um, if we're looking for. Our unusual characters and presences maybe a reconnaissance mission would be the first way to go see if we see anything out of the ordinary outside or inside might as well start inside I summon in my head okay uh, one second I have to add that token do, 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 do. Boop, boop, and then boop, 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 and then I have to give it a light source. So don't one moment. Uh, all right. Uh, you're able to summon your head now. Ah. Um, all right, yeah, so you're free to at that point look around. Uh, you see the shuffling of formerly handsome just kind of like walking around at that point. Okay, we encounter goblins, 
Let me send this guy in first. Can you make him talk? I mean, he, he looks a little rotten as well. Can we... Is anyone gonna, you know, maybe make up? Oh, you want us to... I didn't even plan to pass him off as alive, but yeah, we could try oh. that. Does well, anyone ha have a disguise kit? I feel like I've got Zahani an idea. is a disguise might. Um, I, I've never used a kit for this before, but... I mean, let me see if I could do anything else. That lasts longer than five minutes. We could also have Zahane go invisible and pretend to speak to him. Like a puppet. Oh, that could work. True. Can he try making him talk? See what happens. I I command uh formerly handsome to speak. <laughs> uh, that sounds like goblin, yes. Hmm. Don't you speak, Z Goblin Zahani? Oh, yes, he said nonsense, but it sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with you talking as him. That's a, I think that's actually really clever. Or okay, should Zahani just transform oh, yeah. into his goblin? Oh, he yes, I could just that, turn that into a goblin. I mean, I could go and miss one, pretend Wait, to be him. Zahani, what if you yes? turned into handsome and you went back and you told them, you know, you can talk as handsome, and then if they don't believe you, you run in here, and then you'll come back out as a zombie, and they'll be like, you know. Wait, what? <laughs> I what don't see the goal there. It, it's, a, it's a bait and switch, but we're switching Zahani handsome for dead handsome. But what? Why? If he goes out there and says he can talk as handsome, and they don't believe him, why would they suddenly believe a corpse? It would scare them. They're like, oh my god, what happened to him? <laughs> This sounds like a crazy idea. I'm this is a sure. wonderful idea, teacher. These are goblins. This is how they would react. I'm we an expert. Thought, well, are you? I said the goblins would betray us, and they did. That makes me an expert. That makes you normal. Right. You got to think like a goblin. Okay. So what would goblins do right now? Mm. Jump on stuff. Yes. What but are also... these holes? Oh, there are pillars. They're pillars. Oh. Okay. If this one has been gone for some time, someone else has probably taken up the mantle as leader. What if the they ask me a question? I do them. not know. Oh, yes, I, that's better. I don't want to be someone oh, I am not. We can meet the servants to Zahana. He's so powerful. We. Us as servants, I don't think they're gonna buy that. You are all beneath me? Yes, we grovel. I like this idea. Um, hmm. We can try it. I turn to a goblin. Okay. Are you gonna try to be handsome or a different goblin? This one. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> So, is this, is it good? It's a hoblin. Nice. I guess it will do. What do we use okay, the owl what, head what for? What do I say? I don't know. A tall goblin. Hold on, wait a minute. You, um... Who went in Zahani's room to read the note? It was not Zahani, correct? It wasn't me, no. Yeah. Like the goblin racist. Who read that note, by the way? Which one of you read that note when you guys oh, were yeah, looking in the rooms? Al and... Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it was us yeah. three. Yeah, mm -hmm. but do you guys prefer that what you what it was to Zahani before he turns mm -hmm. transforms into a goblin and how they responded to him? Well, I assume it's still there when he goes back to his room, so he's seen it by now. Zahani, did you ever? Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think no, Zahani I don't went back to his room. room. Yeah. Oh, you never oh, went you know. back to your room. So everyone just assumes everyone knows <laughs> yeah. what they're talking about, but Zahani is still like blind to like. Okay, perfect. I like it. Mm -hmm. How tall is the Zahani? It's very goblin? tall. Zahani's it's tall. Like the same size. Zahani's tall for a goblin. He's a very perfect. tall goblin. They respect size. Use this to your advantage. Tell them. <laughs> Do they? You want to see the boss, and you're taking over. Okay. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna use auto self. Mm -hmm. and transform into a bugbear. <laughs> uh, 
and my appearance. Okay. But with the glasses and every, and he's wearing his robes and everything. So it's just all furry all across him, but he's this big bugbear kind of experience of long. I love it. Arms. I love it. All right. Perfect. So you just, yes. Yeah. We try it your way, Zahani. And then if things go bad, you say a secret safe word and we'll come in and kill them all. Okay. Remember, you're looking for unusual magic. Anything that looks augmented or changed. And then we can and use I, the I can see magic, this magic on it. too, yes? Right now, it's just reconnaissance, and then we can double check it. Oh, yeah, 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 got it. Um, okay, so you're leaving out of the hall as you're hearing, like, like I said, yeah. you're hearing like a commotion out there. All right. Uh, I'm going to drag you all at the hall. Are you all waiting in the room besides Zahani? I think I'll, I'll, I'll follow him in too. as a silent kind of Ooh. henchman. Okay, yeah, your tokens are still going to okay. be there is, is what I'm saying. So, but I, I will take it as you guys are like outside in like yeah, there. I think Trimmer is waiting. Of course. Out of sight uh, until given the sign. While all, this ha while all of this is happening, can Gideon be casting detect, ma uh, detect magic since it takes 10 minutes? Uh, Yeah, sure. Oh, 10 minutes to, to not use the spell slot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's fine. That's perfect. I like it. Uh, Okay, one second. I'm just going to boop. But then I'm gonna. Boop. Uh, all right. So, as you're walking around, uh, you would see a a rather, uh, rather large goblin walking around. He's got a cigar in his mouth, and he just seems to be yelling at everyone. Uh, this strange old-looking goblin is just all you hear is him just going. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and then he turns I love around. These designs. And he just turns around and he's just like, oh, kid, come on. You, your dad's going to be back. It's fine. You need to calm down already. Jeez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Where's Dad? It's just, it keeps echoing. Yeah, it just keeps echoing. Um, And, uh, and yeah, you'll uh, at that point just see this goblin walking around is like, all right, then we barricaded the front. That that thing's coming through in any minute. Uh, what are you guys doing? Um, are all of you guys like in that room still behind me? That yes, floor, that's that's why I said they're, they're they're still in the room. You're the only ones that oh, are yeah, going to be peeking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I look like a bugbear. I also, yeah. I was going to take off like he would have taken off his shirt and his like jacket, so it's kind of got this big oh. fairy bugbear chest. I like it. And, uh, <laughs> and the other room. Oh yeah, God! No. When the spell wears crossed. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if he Al ends up changing his voice <laughs> for the bugbear. If he's still gonna sound like Al. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear the bugbear voice. <laughs> Hello. Um, as you do, as you jump up, uh, this man jumps up, and as he does, he immediately runs and just punches you in the face. Uh, that's a 23, and <laughs> you will take <laughs> 10 points of bludgeoning damage what? as you Ten just like, as he just runs over and just gives you this giant deck. Oh. He goes, ah, ah, jeez, by God, what's wrong with you? You don't just scare me like that. What? I'm sorry. Are we, are we play fighting? Do, do I hit back? You, you're like bleeding out of your mouth at that, at that <laughs> the impact of the, of the hit. And he's hey, like, boss. What? No. You need me to deal with this one? Who the no, fuck no, are you? No, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm the boss now. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of a bunch of your friends uh, came to me and they said they need a new leader for this place. There was one with some pickles, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a deception check. Okay, okay. With okay. advantage? Because he's disguised? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to remember if he saw you or not. I don't think he ever saw you because uh, you guys were doing your own thing. I don't think Happy was ever in the room. So no, he wasn't in the room. Yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll deception at, at, at an advantage. <laughs> God, even with my plus seven. He raises his eyebrows and immediately steps up to you and just grabs you by the, like, by the shirt 
I'm gonna grab him by the shirt. <laughs> it's a critical miss anyway, so you would at that point do that and like push him back. And he shakes up and he look he definitely looks like he's flushed. He looks flustered. And he says What did you do with my crew? I didn't do anything. They left on their own. No. They said they, they were happy there. Uh and he looks over at you and he says, That's a lie. They would not be happy without happy. And he points at himself. I had a bond with them and they disappeared. And now you're telling me that you know where they're at. Where are they? And don't lie well, to they me. Wouldn't, they wouldn't tell me. I'm sorry. One of them casted this, this stinky cloud. Well, it wasn't stinky, but I, it's a cloud and I think it's stinky. I didn't smell it. And they all just disappeared. Said for me to come back here, take things over, you know? Uh, go ahead and roll in the deception at an advantage. Is it control or shift? Uh, shift click. Uh, yeah, at that point, he just kind of like turns around and looks down. And he looks over here and he's just like, uh, Stink, I'm sorry, but I apparently scared off your dad. What? <laughs> he just looks over. <laughs> yeah, he left you. Apparently, he went to join another circus. That son of a bitch. And he looks over at you. Is it because I... It's because I didn't pay him high enough, was it? Is that what well, you're there saying? Was, there was talk about money when they were over there, and they really wanted it, so it oh, might have geez. been. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. He looks down, and you just see him, like, get a tear off his eye. Will it... Are they happy at least? Oh, they were very happy. They they like messing with us, but you know, it's all in good fun. Oh man. You don't know what you got until they're gone. Ah. Ah, oh, Wazy, jeez. And he just like looks over and he's looking down and he takes a deep breath and he turns over. It's like, well, at least they're alive. I thought they got themselves killed or something, but Apparently, this was all just an elaborate ruse to get away from me. That makes sense. Well, as long as they're happy and, you know, very much alive, then I'm, uh... Well, I can deal. I can deal and I can move on. Are you, are you doing okay? Are you sure? Puts my hand on his shoulder. You're a very... Fucking fat, ugly goblin. But yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing all right. Ah, jeez. It's just a lot. It's a lot to deal with. But I guess the good news is my 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 love my gob my gobby crew is still still out there, still alive, still entertaining. <sighs> Wait, what about Skagzag? Oh, the, uh, what did he look like? Remind me. Was he that looked... the little one? Was that the? One he that like... he he looks at you. Uh, roll a deception this time normally. <laughs> You're right. fucking up. <laughs> I don't know their names. I just know they put me in charge. Yeah. <laughs> and he stares at you and he's like, the little one. He doesn't wear pants a lot. Oh, so that, yeah, he's so little. He's hard to hear sometimes. I didn't, I thought he said his name was Cragbag. How do you not know your own boy's name? He's so small. You're I made him smaller once too. It was you're, funny. You're a shit manager. And he spits at your face. Thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. So, uh, <laughs> man, even Skagzag joined you. He used to be with me. He th you took everyone. Man, you're, you're merciless. Man, you're, as, a, you're as, as shrewd of a businessman as you are an ugly fucking goblin. I'll tell you that. God, you're hideous Thank as you. he keeps staring Thank at your you. face. Stop, I'm blushing. He looks up at you and raises an eyebrow. You're fucking weird, you know that? All right, so it's just been rough, you know? I don't know how- how did you get here anyways? How did you get out of the worm? The the worm? Uh, yeah. There's a giant worm swarming the- surrounding this place. It's about to break through the door. How did you get in here? Oh, we, uh, we fell in. I have some underlings. They're under me. They're very powerful, but, he, you know, he, not as strong as me. He looks up. What do you mean you fell in? One of them can do this, uh, I guess it's- a portal? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, neither do I. It's really confusing stuff, but, you know, they're under me, so I trust them. And he looks at your feet. 
And he looks up at oh, you. Not like under me, no. Like, you know how these ones are under you? Yeah, does your friend talk over there? And he points over at the bugbear. Yeah, he does. Talk. Yeah, say something. Hello, man. Yeah, I'm going to talk to you now as he walks over. So, hey, how did you guys get here? We got the magical human that we captured. Oh? Wait, human? Yeah, brings yeah they're disgusting, the ain't they? If I was up to him, in this. You know. <laughs> He looks, he looks in at the or He's like, oh, so this is a human, he says under his breath. Of course it is. It's ugly. Look at it. My God. I, the one thing I hate about humans is the fact they, they ain't got no bodies. And they just float around like that. That's the one thing I absolutely hate about humans. Cut off his head myself. You cut off his head. What do you mean you cut it? This, this ain't a human? It's a head of a human. Wait, there's more of it? I mean, I mean, I mean, of course there's more of it. We all know what humans look like, right, boys? And the goblins all just begin nodding around. Yeah, that's, yeah. Damn! <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta ignore him. He's, he's a heartbroken middle-aged goblin. And he just found out that his dad abandoned them. All right, so where's the rest of them then? Well, I ain't did them. You have to speak up, son. What'd you say? Uh, I, I ain't did. You're gonna have to speak up. I don't understand I a single. You, you, oh, you ate it. Are you gonna die now? What's what's going on there? You got a strong belly. Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna need that strong belly. And he slaps your belly. We're gonna need that strong belly for the fight ahead. I'll tell you right now. I thought we were outnumbered, but now that you've got, you know, magic humans that can make uh, port owls, uh, as well as, you know, you with the big belly, and of course, you ugly motherfucker over here. And he's pointing at uh, Sahani. Uh, I think we're gonna be good. All right. Well. Let's go ahead and get out there, boys. It looks like we got a fighting chance after all. What? Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fight the worm. Okay. All right, let's go. I need that piss. All right. <laughs> he just looks at you, waiting to do it. <laughs> let's go piss. Go piss on the wall. There's a spot that was missed. Okay. I'll show you where it was. He he looks. Okay. He, you just hear a spot that was. Man, what the? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are some oh, weird nah. fucking like goblins. Rough approximation of goblin culture. You guys are just <laughs> making assumptions. I don't, I don't know anything. <laughs> um, he's gonna go into the other room. Me look to them all. There's a giant worm outside, and they want to fight it with our aid, but they think that there's. I think that we captured a human's head in a bowl, and that there's only two of us. Perfect. The worm's probably the day thing. Okay. So do we do we let it eat them first, and then we go in? Yeah. That's kind of messed up. I mean. <laughs> yeah, they're perfectly we nice. The we kill ones. them now. <laughs> well, their manager's rather rude, but the rest of them seem like nice chaps. Okay, then go save anything. them. What, what did your detect magic bring up, Gideon? I'm not in range to feel anything from them. Well? What if I bring you in there and pretend I've caught you? Actually, that might go really wrong. Yeah, I think that's going to turn to violence. Why don't Let you... the goblins die against the worm, and then we'll deal with the worm. It'll be over in 12 seconds. Then they die. Okay. What if we? Then I'm we'll bad. To assist us. We'll join the fight. The last time we wanted goblins to assist us, it didn't work out well. Just in locating the day. Maybe ask them questions as you're going there. Get to the bottom if the worm is what we're looking for. And then, if you initiate the fight, we'll join in progress. I think okay. they expect me to know about this worm, though, is the problem. 
Maybe, okay. Um, glasses, if you talk to them... You know my name, you... Sam. I'm not gonna answer you until you say um... it. <laughs> oh, God. Alf Alphonse. Alphonse? Ah, uh, close enough, yes. Uh, you ask the questions <laughs> and ask, like, you're not from here, because I think they think I am. And if I'm I ask more questions here. about, like, the worm, then I might, you know, raise suspicion. Okay. I'll just stand far back so it's like, you know, oh, he's too far to ask me. I'll go ask this goblin next to me. You walk next to the big one with the hat. Okay. Okay, good talk. Deal. Okay, go. We'll, we'll stay close behind. Probably Wait, you didn't pee yet. About our zombie goblin. Uh, he's hey, just ugly. Hey, there you are. Big pee. All right, so, uh... <laughs> Big <P. laughs> Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, now that, you know, that fucking manager of yours has got... And he looks over to him. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, you mind if I talk to your boy here for a second? I'm looking over at Zahani. Yeah, go ahead. I'm just gonna go bop with this human head. Yeah, you go bop with that human head. Hey. Hey, hey, come over here. Let, let's let's talk for you. We gotta talk shop about the worm. Hey, hey. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. So listen, I really don't fucking like that guy. Okay. Uh, do uh, you looking for more work or like what's going on here? Like what's what's the arrangement he's giving you? Um, uh, gold. Okay. How much? Four thousand. <laughs> Your business eyes <laughs> wide. Have you, uh, <laughs> did you just say four thousand? I meant seven. Seven thousand? <laughs> Is that cheap? He's looking around at everyone. <laughs> he stares at you and he's just like. You got 7,000 gold on you right now. No. In the bank. In the bank? What the fuck? He's just looking around. He's just like, what is a bank? Oh. Like a metal hole. Metal hole, okay. Oh, like a, like a, like a, like a vault of some kind. Like a village vault, right? Yes. Which uh which village you 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 from? The one to know it. The one north. No, you, you want to know it. it. Yeah. Yeah, you are you are you, I mean what are you from? Are you from Ditburg? Is that where you're from? Yes. I don't remember seeing any hobgoblins over at Ditburg. Uh huh, okay, alright, alright. Uh Jeez, we robbed that place blind and no, it didn't see 7,000 gold. <clears throat> well, anyways, so you mean to tell me that big old gobby over there paid you 7,000 gold for your services? Yes. Man, I tell you what. <laughs> oh, man, you're robbing that guy blind. I can't believe he's paying you that much. That's insane. That's insane. Yes. That, that is absolutely insane. Wow. Okay, all right. Well, uh, anyways, uh, so what? Uh, you gonna help out with this worm thing? Or, like, what's going on here? What is it? Oh, it's a giant worm uh, that keep, that seems to keep chasing us wherever we go. Um, I had a crew that was taking, that kind of was taking a little bit care of it, uh, but now it's chased it. Uh, well, you see, this Granny uh, was fighting the worm. I don't think she made it because now the worm's here and Granny's not here. You know what I mean? Granny's, am I right? I don't, are you right? Okay, yeah, of course you know. This guy knows. <laughs> hey, this guy knows. He's points over at you. The other goblins, um, goblins are does nodding. Does it have red smoke? Does it have red smoke? Like, does I it like red smoke? Does it like, <laughs> does it like smoke? Are you saying like any like kind of like adjust his cigar a little bit? Like does it oh. does does it smoke? No, I don't think so. I didn't see it with any sort of red cigar in his mouth or something like that. No, I don't think so. 
<laughs> well, I was gonna try and poach you, but your price is way too fucking high. So, uh, you know, you either lie in the mirror, this guy's a fucking chump. In which case, hey, good luck to you, man. Welcome, boss. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. He leans over. The fuck you say to me? Welcome, boss. His eyes blink a little bit. I'm gonna need you to say that one more fucking time. I swear it's gonna be the last thing you say to me. I need a, a pee again. <laughs> yeah, you go pee. Okay. Yeah, you go fuck. You go fucking pee. He's <laughs> gonna rush straight into the other room. What happened? <laughs> I nearly got killed. I need to pee. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's gonna go to a corner. <laughs> uh, after after emptying his blade, he comes back. Oh, this is bad. Why? Well, it doesn't smoke. The, the, the worm doesn't give off day magic, as far as I can tell. And I think he might be on to me. He didn't like my, my, my goodbye. And what did you say? I just said welcome first. It was quite polite. It was a good conversation. Would a bugbear say well converse? I've never met one. Okay, next time just say bye. Hmm, huh. that's a bit boring. <laughs> anyway, okay. Zahn, he's in there alone. I think he can manage it. Are they going to attack us if we walk in with two humans? Yes. Well, they can't really do much. They're they're pretty. Yeah, that's talk, the thing. You know? I think we either go in there and kill them right now, or you lead them over to the worm, and then we'll show up afterwards. Either way. Follow behind quietly. This is taking too long. Okay. Right. Well, why don't you just walk out? I don't think they they're much to deal with. You should definitely get out there just in case you can detect someday magic in any of them, if that happens to be the case. Yeah, get in, trying to just grab you and say, I caught you snooping. While he's doing before a ritual. You, before you didn't want the goblins to die, and now we're going to step outside. And okay, let's go kill these goblins. We were running out of time. And uh, Gideon just steps out, oh, no. frustrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, my underling! Welcome! Uh, he looks over and he's like, Oh, you got more people? He just looks over they're at my, Gideon. They're my oh, underlings. No. They're how I got here, but, you know, still stronger than them. That's a weird do look. Do any day? Uh, do you, like, like, like visually see it, or, or are you just well, scared? I mean, I, mean I, I cast Detect, detect Magic and it says it lasts for 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you can go and make an Arcana check and choose who you want to do. Uh, but he looks over. He's like, Oh, these are some... Oh, these are some weird-looking gobfolk. Hey, how's it going? Name's Happy. I want to detect magic on the one uh, that's straight across from me. Sahadi? The, non, the non-leader. <laughs> the old, uh, yeah, the yeah, that stinky? One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Of day magic we leave. He might be. I mean, he's fucking crazy. Um, <laughs> uh, I will give you a number of three. Okay. Oh, it's like hot. It's like hot and cold. Got a number. Okay. Tell, you, how long? How long till I can make another check? So I'll, then I'll check the leader. Uh, every round. Oh, okay. You're holding out your hands. It, it's a very uh, visible Please. thing that you're doing. Like, yeah, what if you're, you're doing that, I'm gonna be a distraction for you. So yeah. if I see that you guys aren't attacked on sight, then I'm gonna go. <sighs> okay, and he's gonna walk up here. Hi. <clears throat> what are you doing? Yeah, how's it going? Oh, so it's wait. I'm, how big is your circus? Oh, we got a few of us. I I think this is about it. There's yeah. still one more. In yeah, the they look. Room. I don't know where he is. Yeah, they look like freaks. They, I know, right? Lots of money to be had. Oh yeah, they look, look like freaks. Ah ha ha! This guy fucks, and he points over. <laughs> 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 this guy over here, look at this guy. Hey, hey, I like him. He's got a little, he's got a little spice to him. Oh man, I'm jealous. 
This is a good circus. This is <laughs> this is a good circus over here. This is great. Woo! Okay, all right. I see where I see where my crew joined you. Just hey, look, just the, no hard feelings, but uh, you know, I miss them. They were like family to me, like a found family, and I, you know, I just want to make sure they're okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. Oh, you never know how repulsive they are till they're gone. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, I wouldn't want these freaks, but I do miss my own. <gasps> I miss my own family. Oh, jeez. Oh. <coughs> oh, all right. How did you <clears throat> meet them? Oh, you know, on the road, they were at a circus. I think one of them burned down most of it. <laughs> it was great. Uh, but then, uh, oh man, I miss him. Little, little Cheezle. God, he kept, he kept stabbing people. But you know, it's a, hey, we all have our issues. <laughs> His was stabbing. A lot of stabbing. Oh, and then there was PKL. Uh, she was a, as cute as a clam. Loved cucumbers, loved pickles. And oh, and she got that wog over there. Oh, a cute little puppy over there. What a fine, what a fine folk. Uh, and then there was, looks over. Hey, how's it going? Uh, and then there was, uh, <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, and then Clert, man, he knew how to play. All those 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 instruments that Clint was going places. You take care of Clint now. He's gonna go ahead and lead lead everything. Oh man! And then uh, Skagzag. I mean, Skagzag's been with me for a while. And he's gonna look to Gideon and, and like, a... nod at the the boss and kind of shrug like. <laughs> oh yeah, man! I, I, I magic on the boss. Yeah, he he just keeps going on it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and do a uh, Arcana check. Uh, seven. Ooh. Oh man! Oh, and the, yeah, Skagzag. He's 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 a he's a character, and then he like ate some berries or something, and then shrank to a very tiny size. It was really weird. We tried to give him some clothes once. Let's kill uh, one. What? Let's kill one. Kill what? What do you what do you mean? Um. Ki- Oh, kill oh, oh yeah, kill worm. You yeah, you know huh? what? We, we probably should. And as like he says that, you kind of <laughs> see like you feel like a, a vibration uh, in the college as you're saying that. Oh, yeah, we should probably do something about that. Yeah, uh, Skagzak didn't like wearing clothes too much. And he keeps like and then the, the college keeps shaking. He just a little bit. And he's just talking like he doesn't even notice at all. Oh man, it was good. The model, man, uh, he also liked stabbing people, but he was a little more elegant than Devin Chisel. Oh man, I miss him. I miss him a lot. Oh jeez. Oh. Let's oh. fucking talk. Yeah, tell me more about uh, what you know about uh, Pickle. Oh, P- Pickle. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's some sort of cult leader. But man, she really loved pickles. Hates mud, and I get it. Mud's pretty gross. You guys are, as you guys are like, continue, you don't walk out. You just kind of hear from outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big L's. Head outside. <laughs> you know, so, God. All right. Hold on one second. Let me get this. Um, Charmer would ask also if we're still walking, talking. Yeah. If, uh, did Big L hang out with any specific goblin? Friends here. Pickel? No, no, I think uh nah she Oh uh, she was pretty close to model. Oh and that dog. Yeah, that uh that pup we got at the at the fair. Oh man. The dog, huh? Yeah, war that war dog now. Uh I well what do you I be mean, with you guys, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> right, she hold. did have a wolf with her. Oh, true. <laughs> oh, God, hold on. I have to do this correctly. There is a lot of setup. One moment. Uh, yeah. 
So. <laughs> all right, let me let me let me get all your your tokens over there. Uh, so uh, as you peek out of the call of of the college outdoors, you will actually see uh, what appears to be a very long purple worm just going through the garden right now. I'm going to say to Duck, oh. that's a very large worm out there. It could be quite dangerous. All right. I wonder if it has anything to do with the day. I'm going to use the head to kind of scan around it. Let's see if I see any like day magic coming off of it at all. Uh, does your head have access to detect magic? I didn't have it prepared. Then yeah, oh, so yeah, you wouldn't be able to identify. There's nothing like visible smoke or anything. Yeah, no, no, nothing visible suggests that. Um, but yeah, you just see this worm like shuffling through. Uh, there already appears to be like a like a uh, a dead goblin over by a tree. Okay. And that, but that's it. Everything else is pretty uh, pretty empty. So it's distracted right now. Uh, uh, it's it's literally going through the yeah it's just going through the garden right now. I think the worm is distracted right now. We could we could get it by surprise. I mean yeah that all sounds right. good. Shall we all go in out there? What about your crew? Are they gonna help? Not gonna. Happy. Yeah, happy, yeah, happy like turns over to the goblins. Like, oh, these fucks? No, you, no, they, they ain't gonna do anything. Also, I'm like, you know, I guess I'm like this boy's like stepdad or something. I don't want him out there. Uh, I'll, I, I could probably, you know, manage a little bit, help you out there, sure thing. Uh huh. Well, I guess we're ready when you are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh. Yeah, let's let's let's, uh, let's do it. Let's go out there and and, and make it count. Day. Day. Um. And then yeah, let me know when you guys are going back out, going out there. Hey, what did he say? <laughs> yeah, oh, he said, "Let's go out there and make it count." Yeah, let's do oh, it. Oh yeah. Yay! I thought he yay. Said day. No, he <laughs> said yay. No, he said yay. He he definitely did say day. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am before going. I'm gonna drop the form, and then I'm gonna bless uh, Gideon, Duck, and Tremor. Is this a beer belly outdoors that we're looking at right now? I think no he's shirt. Got he's got like, no shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't have much hair. He has that tiny little snail trail of hair on his chest, but nothing more. Oh god. Uh, he he's not necessarily bad shaped. Right. But he's got like a <laughs> tiny little belly. He's got a little belly. Yeah. yeah nothing wrong with that. I'll just call it a book belly. Yeah, book belly. Oh my god. There you go. A book belly. Uh... Yeah, very oh. pasty. Okay. Uh, so you would all walk out there, is that correct? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if there's a way for us to stealth out and detect magic on the worm first i think that would yeah. be the play okay Before that's fine showing up yeah that sounds good quiet. that sounds good i'll just take you to the map and then we'll we'll roll that um but yeah you literally see this giant worm just like going through the garden right now that's where you are oh do you boy. see yeah oh look at that big boy <laughs> all right i uh, have to get pretty close in order to detect magic all right, I need everyone to roll initiative. And go ahead and select your token. Yep. And yeah, duck, tremor, and getting you have bless on you. Cool. Do we add that to initiative rolls? Uh, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Some uh, check. Also, make sure your token is selected. Oh, yeah, my bad. All good. Yeah, it's uh, attack rolls, saving throws. For this and do we need to roll stealth oh uh, yeah go ahead and roll stealth as well if you're trying to like stay out of sight here we, here we go oh not bad Ooh. 
All right. Um, with the stealth roll, I will allow you to do a detect magic without being noticed. And one of you can do a surprise round if you'd like. Sweet. So you want me to make an arcana check? Uh, feel free. Twenty-two. I think we need thirty, dude. Uh, it just seems like a nice number. We're gonna find a better source than twenty-two, though. <clears throat> I'm gonna. I guess I'm, gonna, I'm gonna convey after I detect magic. This worm has the highest level of day, so far. We should probably collect some of it. What if it's something it ate? Well, then we will I collect can extract its belly. that too. Mm. Okay. And he's a big boy, though. So are we. <laughs> what? And he rolls his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a good plan of attack? Um. No. <laughs> I mean, or we could go back inside and look for something with a stronger sense of day but we'll probably have to kill that goblin on the way back in I, I, I think we could take this I think so too five seconds ago you said it was a big boy yes let's fight it then yeah, whispered I'm scared, but... happy <laughs> Do you have any tricks up your sleeves to get the uh, thing's attention? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got, I got an idea, and it gives you a wink. Okay. Oh, spread out. Yeah, go on down. Oh, there's a goblin here. Huh? <laughs> what is he on the bench? <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought I deleted all of them. Hold on. Sorry about that. Has my token bring goblin out. Okay. Uh, who would like to do the surprise action? I volunteer. Either okay. Happy does it or uh, one of. I mean, I don't really have a good. I have a potential good idea. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah, this could be pretty good. I mean, no, it's a burrowing creature, though, isn't it? I was going to say wall of fire across it. That's pretty good, though. I yeah, let's do it. Screw it. A wall of fire right up it. Okay. Go alongside <laughs> it. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. Just straight along the belly. Cook that. Cook it like a sausage on a barbecue. <laughs> like in theory, yeah, that should be like super effective, but I think it just only counts it's gonna one hit it. creature. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna yeah. count once, isn't it? Well, it's one creature. If if it's segmented like this, it. it might there might have be different health pools. Brett likes to do that with his monsters. It's, it's possible. Does he? Also, you, you want to do like a, a check on this? Oh yeah, uh, the red belly. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that's probably where the day is. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, and you can copy-paste uh, that fire if you want to make the 60-foot. Oh, okay. Make it big. Copy and paste it? Uh, just, you just cast it. Yeah, so wait. It's so, uh, hold on. It? You just click oh. cast. It should post it. 10, 20... 30, 40, 50, and... All right, so here's 60 foot of wall of fire that you should have control of. Ooh. So go ahead and make the, the line that you want. Okay. Um, you should have control of the tokens. It says controlled by Joe okay. Fudge, so you should be able to. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this where I kind of square it in, and then the outside, like, it burns towards it. Of course. Okay. Uh, so I need to make a on the same tile as it, or does it take damage from? Being it takes uh, ten feet away from it um, on okay, one okay. side. Yeah, it'll take okay, damage so as it enters. It's like uh, loop hero, dude. <laughs> uh, Fourteen for the armor class, or for the, for the uh, to break the uh, the saving throw. Your saving throw is what? Sixteen. Yeah, it 16? fails. Yeah, it fails. 16, All right. Yeah. Roll your like damage. Twenty-three points. Of, ah, I just wrote it above that. 23 oh, twenty-three. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Uh, okay. Does this take damage differently, Mr. Brett? <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot, guys. I mean, I've, I've already done it. That drops bless. Forgot it's concentration. My bad. <laughs> oh, oh. That's <laughs> oh, oh, that's oh. okay. Well, it got to do those scan checks. Uh, the fight now begins with the with the, it taking the fire. You just kind of hear it go. <laughs> as it screeches back uh, from the fire recoiling. Um, so, Gideon, it's now your turn. Uh, I am going to point my finger at him and cast Lightning Bolt. Okay. So it's a dex 15. Let's see. Uh, roll the one. 23 points of damage. Uh, and which one, what are you aiming for? Uh, I would like to try to aim for its belly belly. Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and get that. Uh... Oh, it's 23 is all around. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I that. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, you zap it. It, like, wriggles around uh, from the impact. Uh, and then what do you do? You're also still able to do scan checks and everything. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, scan for specifically the nature of its belly if i can like okay why is it all read of what's read about it man <laughs> all right make uh make your scan check make your arcana what's check what's the deal with this belly uh <laughs> that is not high enough oh gosh um, shit. well if you tell me that i am going to use my feature and trait to re-roll that if i can Ooh, feel free and then I will have to, I have to keep this no yeah, matter what. You're going to get 24. You're going to get 20. Ooh! W. Uh, so, uh, when you, so the red part of the belly uh, is vulnerable to all sources of damage. However, if you destroy it, it causes the worm to split and a new head will grow in its place for the base of the body. Oh. It looks like this worm has already been severed before. Don't attack the belly. The belly produces more worm. So hit its face? Hit its face. It might be harder to hit its face, though. This, this thing's a bit of an asshole. Um, okay, so... Uh, with that, do you move at all? Um, Kind of like right where this boy can see me. Uh, I think... You know what? I'm just actually gonna I'm gonna stay right here. I like this spot. It's a good spot. Okay. It is now time for the worm to go. Uh it will go through the fire. And Ugh. Who? Dead popped off. Uh yeah, it's because I have to literally <laughs> oh, every single like, one. What is happening? Jeez. Yeah, it's okay. It's not that bad. Once I get a corner piece like this, I'm good. <laughs> it takes uh, damage on the fire. Yes, it does. Like on its turn, yes, right? it does. Yep. One, two, three, four. Oh, pretty good then. Maybe you'll cauterize it. The belly. <laughs> and the full worm is now out. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, do you? Um, I'll go ahead and use the same wall fire damage as before. Okay. Although, I don't know if it does take damage going through it, does it? Uh, if it goes through the wall, yes, it does. It does? Okay. Yeah, if it ends its turn, or if it goes through the wall itself, it does. Oh, yeah, when it enters the wall. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is going to be good, then. It's going to be hard for it to remove itself from the wall entirely. Mm-hmm. Means... Okay. Um, but that will be its round. Uh, so, Al, it's now your turn. Okay. Um, I use my free action to determine. Uh, I'm going to see if it's got any resistances. 
Uh, okay. Look at Ooh. Big boy row. Um, so its body takes base damage. So it takes normal damage. Uh, its head is resistant to all damage sources. Okay, I'm going to relay that to everyone. Don't aim for the head. The head is stronger, but the body is like a jelly. And... But won't it just split itself if we hit its body? Yeah, but it's, it can take any damage on the head. Maybe we hit just below the head. Maybe. I hope you're right. I usually am. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then... I am just going to go up to it. Well, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to... 5, 10, 15, 20. And then I'm going to move my little guy here. And I'm going to cast... Actually, I don't even need to see me. Uh, let me check. I'm going to cast check on... Actually, no, I'm going to move him because I'm going to cast on the body. Okay. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Check, please. Uh, okay. Intelligent save. <laughs> Negative one. Not good intelligence. Oh. 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 It's kind of yeah. minus, uh, minus five, I think. Five, <laughs> yowza. Hold the 2d10 there. Only eight points of psychic damage. Uh, and what are you aiming for? I was aiming for the jelly bit just below the head. If okay. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So eight okay. points of damage at that 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 body portion. Cool. All right. Uh, does that end your round? Uh, yes. All right. Zahani. Um, I'm gonna Arcana check the head and see how beefy this thing is. Okay. If I can. Yes, you can. That is not high enough. Oh! Um, then, in that case, I'm going to... Let me see. Let me see if this is an action or a bonus action. This is an action. So, I guess I'll still do it. I'll be useful next turn. Sorry, everybody. I'm going to blink. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, that's not the roll. I hate how clicking the spell doesn't actually roll it. Okay, poof. All right, and I think with an eleven, that means you vanish to the ethereal plane yeah, until next round. Eleven. Cool. All right. Uh, Tremor. Okay. Um, I am gonna use my Arcana check to specifically see if there would be a special interaction of the spell Blight with its stomach, as the description of Blight. Uh, here, let me I'll post it just so you can see. Mm -hmm. Um, is that it or shrivels up and just like deletes moisture of mm -hmm. organic tissue. Mm -hmm. So rather than cutting cutting it or severing it in a way that would uh, make a another one of it, I want to mm -hmm. see if it would like decay the tissue to the point where it couldn't, you know. Open. Yes. So I'm gonna roll an arcana check for that. Okay. Uh, a 19 is not high enough. Oh my god. Okay. Twenty-five, thirty. Uh, how far can the zombie move? Twenty. Two, three. Uh, I'll go there. Um, and then I will cast. Um, I'm going to do a howl, a wolfy howl. I'm going to go a roo <laughs> and, uh, at level three, which gives me a 10, a 10, uh, foot radius of advantage on everyone around me. So there we go. Uh, okay. Pack of the wolf has been cast. Um, and then I'll bonus action. Uh, 10, 20, 25, 30. Run over there. Uh, where 
Where's Dukazan? Okay, they're over there. Huh. Uh, Trimmer will yell, Gather around me. I am the aspect of the wolf. <laughs> God. And that'll be my turn. <laughs> uh, Dukazan, it's your turn. I would like to, um, gesture my hand over my, not my gravity orb, but my magic orb, and, um, sort of slowly gesture to the left and cast slow on the worm. The zombie was going to dash after me, too. Boo, 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 boo. It is now slowed. Uh, okay. What part of the worm do you cast it on? The head. Okay. Yeah, right. it's head. you just see the head just... As it just, like, begins to slow. I would like to know how the health works. Like, if they're... Different segments have their own health. Like, I'd like to figure that out. Give me that Arcana check. A 17 uh, is not high enough. Alas. All right, and I will move. And I guess, uh, since I have a bonus action, I, I will throw out my gravity orb to just okay. in front of uh, Zahani, basically. All right, and we'll make a token for that. So for now, though, in front of Zah where Zahani is, uh, yeah, I'll just draw like a little, boop, boop, and there's the orb, and I'll make an actual orb for next session. Yeah. Okay, does that end your round? Yes. Uh, as the shattered door uh, at the base over here, uh, from the worm tearing through, you hear some dramatic stomping as a voice breaks through to the garden. I'm not through with you yet! Oh. As an old goblin grandmother walks in, oh. And she, you just see her crack her neck and flex her arms as Goblin Granny <laughs> joins oh the fight. Jeez. She's vicious looking. Oh, she's going to be day level 100. Yeah, she is the day. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so ends today's session of Astral Academy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have to sample. We're gonna have to sample Granny. Oh no. Chat's just losing their shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so ends today's session of the Astral Academy. That so was fun. that was good. Good sash. Good sash. Good sash. Good fish, good fish. I, I like I like seeing the outside world in the goblin area. <laughs> just just how they interact and how the goblin world interacts with you guys. It's just it's nice. It's good lore shit. I like the goblin characters. They're nice. <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh yeah that's going to be it for today. Uh we're pressed on time right now, so we'll do fan arts next week. Does that sound good with you guys? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds Gucci. All right, and then yeah, next Thursday will be the uh, the continuation of uh, <laughs> of this of this arc. So that'll be fun. Uh, thank you guys so much. I uh, hope you guys had a good time, and I'll see thank all... you all. Yeah, thank yeah, you, Brett. 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 Thank you, everyone. Bye, fun. Yeah. Bye. 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 See bye, you guys. Bye 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 bye, 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 bye. Fun time. Fun sesh. Oh, chat. I immediately just saw ch just the chat. You're like, grab it, grab it. <laughs> so that's good. That's good. That's good. That was good. That was a good reveal. <laughs> oh, my God. Good. Yeah, good stuff. Big Pockers moment. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate y'all hanging out today at the Astral Academy. Uh, we, yeah, uh, if you'd like to go ahead and support the world of IO, uh, be sure to join our Patreon. Uh, you can donate as little as $3, as much as, uh, $300. It's the beginning of the month, so we're typically going to see a, a bit of a dip on our Patreon, historically, at the beginning of the month, as people shift around their budgets and things like that, so... 
uh, now more than ever, if you can consider your support. I drop uh, wonderful things, including art uh, that's being worked on for the campaign, as well as my very own notes and Game Master notes for encounters, maps that I build. All the maps you see in here have been built by myself. Uh, so it, I also drop maps that have been used in sessions uh, for our Game Master tier, as well as MP3s of the campaign. So you guys can go ahead and listen to them uh, out on the road in nice little podcast formats. So consider your support. I greatly appreciate it. Um, big shout out. And this will actually be updated over the next couple of days. Um, big shout out to you, Dramavian. Uh, DRU, Lopar Panda, Baker Staunch, Germs B, Eagle Wolf, and Kendall M for their support in our $50 plus tiers. You guys are great. I really do appreciate that. Uh, tomorrow is the misdemeanor. Um, we're still going as planned, but there is a chance that I may cancel last minute. Um, I've been put on a waiting list for the vaccine, uh, for the COVID vaccine. And, uh, and yeah, so I, if that happens, I will then more than likely not be able to DM vaccine over, over D and D I'm afraid, but Saturday, um, Saturday, I will be back for hunters of IO at 7 PM EST. It'll be session two. They'll be hunting a brand new creature, uh, either the crystal crustalian or, uh, the noxious Aramora. And uh, it'll be it'll be fun. So, um, and like I said, chat for tomorrow, it's a maybe. But so don't go around telling people that tomorrow's canceled because it's not. Okay. Be sure to join our discords, the Bread Ultimate Discord. I don't know why I said discords. Uh, the Bread Ultimate Discord uh, is our variety Discord, but uh, the other link is our World of IO D and D community. Um, join that one. That one's forming up pretty nicely and been pretty well. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the the group's coming together. We're gonna be applying for a Discord partner once again, and uh, yeah, be sure to go ahead and go over there, hang out. Spoilers channel is always losing their mind after every session, so it's uh, it's fun. It's a great community to be a part of. It's uh, I really like what we're building over there. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter. Trying to get over to, to ten thousand followers. We're at like ninety three, maybe ninety four hundred. We're getting pretty close. So we're trying to get to ten ten k by the end of the year. Uh, and follow on YouTube where you can see all of the VODs, uh, never expired. Uh, uh, Twitch has a 60 day expiration and on YouTube. It's all there for till the end of time until YouTube shuts down and everything's gone forever. So until the end of time, essentially. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, let me go and thank all of our subscribers today. Uh, we're slowly approaching all well, getting close to 400, uh, subscriptions till we get the new email i'm thinking if we do actually reach new emote before the subpocalypse uh i'm thinking a hug emote um i think that'll be fun to have a bright two hug i think that'll be nice a nice cozy another comfy emote um but yeah as you see brand new emote bright two suffer has just come out uh we got bright two cozy bright two suffer and maybe a bright two hug emote uh if we reach the 1800 so uh and then i think that covers pretty much all of the emotes for now uh let me go and thank everyone baker thank you baker staunch thank you for gifting a sub to shady penguin uh pleasant pheasant thank you for gifting a sub to captain robin 19 uh emba pierre thank you for the prime sub welcome to the rack pack uh mickey on thank you for the tier one sub and welcome to the rack pack brand new sub uh baker staunch thank you for gifting five more subs base deke with a tier two sub uh watt duff with a tier one sub for 13 months thank you thank you thank you um yeah uh, bracy thanks for the host shane thank you for the raid and uh two more yep nightwind 21 thank you for the tier one sub welcome rack pack and why not gemology thank you for the tier three sub hot damn that's pretty pog that's pretty that that's 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 heck and sweet thank you very much for that tier three sub and welcome to the rack pack ladies and gentlemen i am done uh i'm wrapping up so i thank you very i uh, thank you all very much i hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you all the next time all right have yourselves a good one now uh bye bye